Hi everyone, Liam Magpie here and today I'm going to do another show and tell of my updated version of my Sylvanian Families collection slash display slash um, village. Three years ago I did a review and show and tell of my Sylvanian Families and that was in my old home and it was just not elevated enough. Now that I've moved into my new home I had a spare room so I thought why not put all my lovely Sylvanian families together and do an updated um, display and I actually did one last year as well but since then I have updated certain pieces I've added wallpaper to a lot of the houses and I've also I also want I put it off for quite a while because I wanted to get some other pieces like the hairdresser set and the and hairdresser accessories which comes with a Sylvanian of a horse and um, which looks really cute but that's only exclusive in Japan but I am going to get my hands on that and I will do a review and I'll probably do one more update of this display but since then I have updated quite a new things. I've added a camping area, I've added a new home, I've decorated the new home, I've wallpapered all of the houses other than one because of the room and that is the windmill. But there will be more updates coming up soon and this is just an, another update. But so I've got one more update coming up and so I quickly just want to show you a new update which one I have I have been putting this off for quite a while just because I haven't had got all of the pieces that I really wanted but I'm very happy to show you up to now what I've done so this is the awkward blue house um, and the rooms look really really cute so in the kids bedroom I have the wallpaper what it's not the best wallpaper in but i've chose this really cute um green um leaf pattern wallpaper and i got these nice little rugs off ebay and i just thought that looks really cute and then here's like a little bit of a nursery area and that's in the same with this nice green leaf pattern and then on the next floor we've got the uh, like a floral like dark wallpaper i really love dark um floral wallpaper prints they look really cute so this is like the adults bedroom and what i love about sylvanian families is everything's compatible you don't have to have every single thing the um, as a, exactly how they're meant to be you can swap things around you can you can add other things to certain bits but yeah this is the adults bedroom I think it looks really cute and adorable and then it goes into this like other floral wallpaper which is a bit more lighter so it's like a contrast between light and dark and as you can see going into the bathroom we have a leaf wallpaper which is light as well, what goes with the floral patterning on here. With a little desk area. Then going down to the living room, which I think looks absolutely so cute and adorable. I've gone for um, a lighter um, floral wallpapering. And I absolutely love these rugs. Um, yeah, it looks really cute. I've added a little bit of detail in here just to cover a few little marks and stuff because I'm not the best with wallpapering. And then this floral print continues down into like the dining room area. And then if I, sorry for the noise, if we move down to the kitchen area, I've got another floral, which is white roses. And there's the kitchen with white roses and light pink roses as well which looks really nicely done then I've just got like a little patio area but this area is going to get changed there is the I forgot what this is called the air bloom travel thing I don't know what it's actually called um, 
but this little patio area is going to get changed into I'm going to put the um, air dressers set when I get that here because it's a nice big space and I didn't really need another sitting area so now I'm just going to lift up and go to the actual village itself which looks really really cute next i'll show you one of the other rooms so next i've got the windmill this is the one what i didn't decorate just because of the rooms being a bit of an awkward shape as you can tell it's a round room and i might do it in the future and update it but just think it's really cute this is where i let the grandparents sleep and as you can see at the top of the ceiling a lot of these houses come with um, slots so you can put lights in and I just think that looks absolutely so cute I love the kitchen the kitchen's really adorable and then the next room is the bedroom which looks really cute as well I made these little rugs myself and then it comes with these little ladders I added vans around the um, balcony bit and then we have the bathroom and then the top area has got like a, um, a telescope with some wood at the front I'll show you that when I get to the front and then I've got like an old-fashioned camera and then next we have the flower shop which I actually did a review on this on my channel and this looks really cute and then I just added these rugs which are actually I think well they are like long runner rugs but for dollhouses but you could actually use them as butt max as well because those are listed as both and then I'm just going to put my little light on you might be able to see things a little bit better sorry there's my light there and then we have oh it's very awkward because I'm literally sat down but then we have the Grand Apartment Star which I absolutely love and these areas what you can see here I'm going to do some little outdoor areas of some fashion stalls you can buy you can buy single fashion stalls so I'm going to add them there was what I wanted to add and do a review on for you guys so they are coming up soon um, but up to now I was very happy still to show you and I absolutely love this star. I think it looks very detailed. It's got some really nice, like, architectural looks to it. And, yeah, it just looks really cute and adorable. And um, one of the... Oh, one of the... Necklaces have come off the stand. Certain things I always... There you go. Certain things are not to do with the collections, like this clock up here wasn't to do with the collection. I actually got that from a, a, um, a Tum Tums collection. Um, and I just thought it'd be cute as a little clock at the top. But yeah, there's the Grand Department Star. I've got another long runner here and the line playing piano. This is the old. So this is the next house. This is the Grand Hotel house and it's the biggest house I think they've come out with other than one of the most newish ones. Um, it is so big and it's spacious and I have fully wallpapered this one and I've even added my own floor in. And this is the kitchen. This was actually the first house I ever bought as well and the kitchen is really cute and adorable because it's got this really lovely vintage wallpaper in different rows and different um, like wildflower flowers and the design of it's just really cute I think that the greens really complement the rugs and all of the light every room has a light as you can see there um, 
but yeah the kitchen's really cute I stuck I stuck on like a little clock here and there is the cute little vintage looking um oven stove and I just think that looks absolutely so cute I love the design of the wallpaper and then this is the living room and dining room and this looks absolutely stunning I actually got this random cabinet from an like I got a job lot from eBay and it's actually from an hospital set but this wallpaper is like a light floral wallpaper with like blues and whites and I just wanted it to look a bit lighter because the walls are all red so it took away it's really lightened up the room instead of being dark and then I added a flooring which is like a cardboard uh, no like a I don't know it's from a design book I'll see if I can be able to try and get the name of the book and yeah you get loads of different patterns in these books and I really wanted to change the floor from being white to like a wood effect and it just looked really cute but I made this cabinet into like a little knickknacks cabinet and I just love the details in it next is the bathroom and this one has a leaf design and it looks really cute trop very tropical vibes and it goes with the little pot, um, splashes of blue and I think that looks really really cute it's the simple bathroom designs what it's just like one bathroom design and yeah it just looks really really cute you're gonna hear that a lot in this video and i think i got a little bit better with the wallpaper in as as time went on and i love the fact that all the lights go on i was gonna put the lights on but it's too light and then this is one of the children's bedroom and i've gone for another floral pattern but it's got a dark blue design and this one looks really nice. I've also added rugs to go with the kind of coloured scheme I like. And then I've just added a few little knickknacks like this the Salvanian family's badge here, which is really cute what I've put on the bed. And then added some some of the bags are from Salvanians and some of the bags are from like different very um toys that are in this right nice in the same scale size. And then we have two bedrooms which are separated. The reason why I bought this house is because I wanted to buy a few Sylvanians and I didn't want to buy loads of different houses and this one seemed the biggest to fit in the amount of families I've got. So I've got one, two, three, four, four families living in this house and it's just like one big shared happy family house. And I've got this vintage sew machine, which the elastics come off, but it doesn't really bother me. It's really cute. And this piece of fabric is actually from the Vintage Star. And this is a lighter pattern to the one in the kids' bedroom. It's um, the same pattern, but just a lighter blue. And I just think that looks really cute. And then I just added lace a little bit at the top because it got a little bit messy at the top. So I just added a little bit of lace detailing, which I think just adds to the design overall. I feel like I could do with a few pictures on the walls. But like I said, when I do my third update, uh, my fourth update, it'll be done. And then this one is the next children's bedroom. It's the same wallpaper because when you close the doors, it all matches and connects with the same rugs. But just had a few added little knickknacks and bags hanging off there. And this one's got two babies living in this in this house as well. And then up here we have like a little seating area. Um my clock's moved a little bit, but this is just a cute little seating area where you can where they can have a little natter and a cup of tea. It's got a little telephone in there, and then I did a little picture up here, which is the wallpaper from the kitchen the kitchen's my favorite room in the entire house and then i have 
uh, and the wallpaper on this one is like a like another floral one with white roses and then in the top room what i call the attic room we have another wallpaper which is some um the same wallpaper as the living room so it's like cohesive so it goes white bluers white dark greens dark floral that's how i've kind of planned out the rooms and then we've got light floral light floral so yeah this bit's got like a bit of a nursery bit at the top like a little playpen and this is just another another room i've added lace there as well just to match with this lace and it just looks so stunning i think it is just one of my well it is my favorite house and then on the top of the roof we have a little seating patio area with a little swinging chair it's got a pram and yeah i just thought i'd do a cute little and this is what it looks like from the top and then we have the last room which is what i call my music study room it's just a cute little room um, study room and then i used some green um wallpaper to put in this picture frame and this is just an overall look of how it all looks so this is the nursery um, the nursery I actually did a review on but I lost the footage and what I like about this nursery uh, is that you can actually build on top of it and make a castle which I didn't get round to doing um, and I'm really upset that I lost the footage because it took me ages to film because I had lots of stickers, accessories and what I really like about this little bench is it actually can turn into um, a seesaw with the seat. And then we've got two little critters in here. Well, actually three. Um, and I never had a nursery before. And I think the swing is really, really cute. I just wish it was just a little bit bigger. But you can extend on it. So I will extend on it. And I will probably show you when I do another um, show and tell. And then here we have the school which I've added a few little accessories in this one and it looks absolutely so cute. Um, this has got some of the old sets in it. Let me just put that back together. So these are the old um, sets. So we've got a seesaw and a swing and then a slad, which goes into like, what well, I'm gonna have a patio set, um, pa like a patio section. So I'm gonna put some little bits of food in here and I'm actually going to get one of the, look, you can get a nursery toilet. Um, here's the front of the nursery there. And this is the, if you're wondering what the name of this school is called, this is called the Berry Grove School. And I'm just going to put some bits of food on here. And then we've got, I'm going to get a little toilet area as well. It's a little bit rougher on the edges, but it, it's really cute and I'm still working on it. It takes time and it's not exactly cheap to do. And yeah. Next we have, I'm just going to slide across here. This is, I call this my, the poor house, but this is the barn house. Um, the barn fan house, I think it's called. And this one's just recently been decorated. I didn't wallpaper this room because the walls are so small um, that it would have been pointless to decorate that one wall. But this is the kids' bedroom overall and it's really cute. My mouse family lives in this house and I just added another rug just to give it more of a home feel. And it's really, really cute. I just want to close them. And then we have the bathroom area, which I think is really cute. And I just added some curtains. And then the wallpaper on this one is another floral. And it's in like a white and pink with a little bit of green, which I think is really cute. 
Next we have the living room which is the wallpaper follows through because of the design of this house. That's the best way I had to do it. I added this little stair carpet but I need to stick it down a little bit better. But that looks really cute as well. It just needs a bit more of a better sticky tape and then I added this lovely blue rug to match it. And I'm just going to quickly remove, you can remove the stairs so you can see the full extent of that. If you wear a back and in the background that's my dogs. Then I added this runner into the kitchen and then the wallpaper actually goes different this time. So on this one it goes into light floral with lights and pinks and then I've got another floral but it's more like watercolours and this goes into the kitchen area and this is the kitchen the dining room and then we've got the living room here uh, the bedroom sorry which I think looks really really cute as well I love the little studying desk we've had a little bit of a tipple some of the Furniture, I've had to double sided stick a tape on. Um, it's a so yeah, that's a nice little trick. If you want these for display purposes and play purposes, I would recommend getting a parent or guardian to help you stick down certain bits of furniture because you will lose pieces, it doesn't always stay in place, and that's what I have learned from doing that. But I really think that looks really cute, and the kitchen does, and then you can just move the ladders and then that, that gives you a better look of it all so from this side of the house it's one side wallpaper and then this side of the house another side wallpaper so now next we have oh it's because I'm trying to I'm actually sat on the floor doing this we have the um, conservatory this little bit needs finishing here but we have the conservatory bit here and we've got the beekeeper staying in here. He doesn't live in here but he comes here when he's doing his gardening. There's his wife's bag. I made these little plants. Which are really, really cute. You get a nice little look of the village. You, If I was to put the camera through here, you can see a nice little view of it all. So yeah, this is really cute and this is the garden, but I'll show you all this when I do a full overall view. Then here, we've got my new house, but well, the house itself is an old house, but I really wanted another family. So this is one of the biggest houses I could find where I had more than one floor with space. So this is the kids' bedroom, I'm sorry about the light. But this one has got um, feather wallpaper in. And then I did like a border, as you can see here, a border to go around the bottom. And I got this lovely rug from eBay as well. This has lost its little drawer, I think it's just underneath here. Let me try and get that out. I'll get that out a bit later. Um, I'm so professional in this video. Um, but yeah, this is the kids' bedroom. I really like the wallpaper at the back. It's got it's got um like clouds and it's just really cute as a little nursery. And I got the new I got the new um cot, which I think is really cute. And then in the next room, we have the bathroom. I like to fit all of the things you have essential in a home. So bathroom, bedroom, kids' bedroom, living room, kitchen. So yeah, here is the living, um, adult's bedroom and bathroom. This is the older style bathroom sets. And then I got these lights, which are actually... Um, for one of the new houses, but I cut the backs off and stuck it on the walls here Just to add a bit of decoration on the windows Near the windows, sorry, and then here is 
the adults bedroom here i put the mirror in the bedroom so then you can walk around it because i really like a full length mirror and i really love the details on this rug as well looks very vintage very cozy and i've just done like a leaf design here and then another tropical leaf design there and then on this side i've done a tropical uh, like another leaf design there matching both sides and then a back wall as a feature wall there then this is my favorite room of the whole house is the living room slash kitchen it was really hard to fit a dining room in there because the rooms are quite small but i got a kitchen set up and it looks really cute and adorable i couldn't find a plant so i made my own little plant because i really wanted a plant in the living room and then this is the new living room set and these chairs you can actually change the covers i think the covers are like a um a checkered fabric but i really liked the floral pa pattern as you can tell in all my houses and here is the rug here it's really nicely detailed and if you're wondering where i got these from if you go on amazon and ebay and just put in dollhouse rugs they've got so many different designs and the varying prices i love the tv because it reminds me of the old-fashioned tvs we had and i've just added a clock in the corner a grand five o'clock and some lights and yeah it just looks really cute so it is pretty much an overall look of the house so next i'm going to show you the playground area this is quite hard to show you because it's a very awkward positioning but i've actually um built this bit to make it look a little bit like a wall but we've got the tree house here and i've just added some little tea set here i got um some display i've made like a little picnic area where the kids can draw and they've got maps and the maps are actually cut up from one of the packaging and then i've got some um these are just from they're actually from kinder eggs <laughs> but there was the right size so I thought they'd look really cute as well. And then here is the playground area all together. And then we've got the fruit stall here. Still got a little bit of work to do, but I think it looks really cute overall. I really like the little bits of stones I've added and yeah and then it goes up to the campsite area which i built literally not that long ago and we've got a family here so we've got some tents we've got some um a picnic and we i made a little pond from a picture frame and I've just added some other little knickknacks and then I built this little, these stairs are actually from eBay and they're actually from the school because I wanted like, um, it to look like you have to go up the stairs to go up the hills, across the little bridge, going up to the campsite area and it just looks really cute. And I got the fences from a shop in the UK called Hobbycraft. And then I just got some moss just to make the hill look really, um, like, realistic. So next we have the little hospital area, our nurse office here, which we've all seen before. Then we've got the vintage store here, but I've added a lot of different things in this. Um, some bits are even part of it, and some bits... I've made myself, custom made myself, because there wasn't all the pieces. And I really wanted this to look like a vintage junk shop, antique shop. And it's just got lots of character and it's really cute. Then we have the supermarket here, which I think looks really, really cute and adorable. And 
yeah we've all seen that before but it looks really cute got a little shopkeeper then we have the bakery which is out of all of the shops my favorite shop i think it's really cute and adorable got mrs edgehog making all the lovely baked goods and then this is the front of my new house and here's the garden area just a cute little garden area here's the garden area for the um conservatory area and then the high field uh, high field farm that's what it's called i've got some plushies in the background and dolls um this is just a cute little area i've got there and then we've got the school and i've got the old flower stall as you can see here and there's the postman the grand hotel and then i did a recent review on the new bakery set so i thought if i have a bakery shop here they can get some baked goods as well outside and then we've got the popcorn stand i really want the new popcorn stand which comes with a sheep and i also want the hairdressers set here's the grand department star there absolutely love the pattern and details and here is the grass area waterfall area just so you can chill out get some ice cream from mrs moo some candy i know some of these the candy stall and the ice cream stalls quite an old set but i really like the old sets i haven't got nothing wrong with the new sets i probably will add them and sometimes it's nice to swap certain things out but I just really like the old sets because I've gone for more like... Because Salvanians is quite timeless. It's got like this really nice vintage feel. This authentic, old-fashioned way of living, if that makes sense. Is the garden for the Oakwood house there. And then we've got the garden for the windmill which you can actually wind up the windmill and it'll turn. Then we have the flower stall here. And I just think overall it looks so cute. And there's an overall view of it there. I'm going to show you some different areas of it so you can get a better view so this is how it all looks i've even made like a little bridge man me other little boxes and man me other toys in the um background but this is how it all looks all together i've got a light i've got one of my lights there set up so it's lit up a bit better and you can really see it. I'm just going to walk around this bit so you can see it all around here as well. It's just my little village. I love it. I'm adding some more pieces to it soon. And there is how it all looks like that. And overall, I'm very proud of it. The is some things I want to update. So this area here, can you see? I'm going to get the um, hairdressers set and put that there. And I'm just going to get some more of the fashion sets. And I will have them all reviewed for you. Because I've put off a lot of um, reviewers. Because I've been buying a lot of other toys. And yeah, I love that the street lights as well. The street lights really add to it 
looking a bit more realistic and the lights all turn on and then you've got the older sets of the street lights and I've got all my little critters and they're all out and about I've got some taking the babies out for a stroll we've got the some of them going on the bike and getting some errands and then I'm going to quickly just show you this if I can if you can see there I've got the policeman there and the postman oh and the postman there And that is the front of my new home there. I've got some rose bands and a little archway. And then another little archway at the corner. And this is one more little last bit. I, when I did the outside bakery, I added the oven bit here and put some baked goods here. And the chef will come here, bake, and then he'll put it on his star. But I am done with this show and tell of my Salvanian family's collection, display and village. I will have one more update coming up soon. I don't know if and when. It's just when I get the new pieces. I will have some Salvanian family's reviews coming up soon as well. And... I have more toy related stuff coming up soon as well because I do a big mixed range of toys on my channel. So I hope you enjoyed this review and show and tell. And there isn't really much more I can say. I hope I haven't missed anything out. And if you want Sylvanian families, you can buy them from anywhere. You can get them from Amazon, um, different retail pr prices, Smith sells them. And if you want some of the older Sylvanian families, I would recommend going on eBay because that's where you'll get some of your older sets like your yeah, Vintage Star or the Oakwood Manor or even the um, Grand Hotel. So, yeah, there isn't much more I can say. It just looks really, really stunning. It's nice to see it this way as well so you can see it. And... I can't wait to get the other sets, so please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that alarm bell for more toy related stuff and follow me on my Instagrams. And I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye!